Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Uh, now I'm going to start this new video series and it's based on the fundamentals of physics by uh, Halliday and Resnick and this is ninth edition. So this is the first problem of chapter one and the chapter one is based on measurements. So the first problem is that earth is approximately a sphere of radius 6.37 multiply by 10 is for 6 meter and what are its circumference in kilometers in part b it is asked that its surface area in square kilometers and volume in cubic kilometers now the given data is the radius is given right so we can say that the radius is 6.37 into 10 raised to the power 6 meters so now if we look into this radius so we are given the radius in terms of three significant figures so our answers need to be three up to three significant figures since the given data is up to three significant figures so now in the first part we are required to find the circumference so let's say that the circumference is represented by c and as we know that the circumference of a uh, circular cross section is 2 pi r r yeah, this is let's say small r this is 2 pi r and we can say that 2 pi multiply by r and in the problem statement it said that find the circumference in kilometers so everything is required in kilometers square kilometers and cubic kilometers so before uh, finding the circumference we need to convert this radius into uh, kilometers right so we need to convert the units of this radius so how to convert the units so in order to convert the units is we know that uh, one kilometer is equal to 10 raised to the power 3 meters so we need to cancel out this meter units right so we need to divide it by a fraction having meter in the denominator right so I will write this meter and we want to convert it into kilometers so meter need to be in the denominators since we want to cancel out this meter with this meter so now we know that one kilometer is 10 raised to the power three meters so if we multiply this this radius with this ratio that is one kilometer equals to 10 raised to the power three meters and meter need to be in the denominator so meter will cancel out and we will get the units in kilometers so now this is we can say that this this meter and this meter will cancel out and this will be 6.37 into 10 raised to the power 6 and if we bring this 10 raised to the power 3 to the numerator so its power will become negative so this will be 10 raised to the power minus 3 and this is in kilometers so now 10 raised to the power 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so the power will add up and this will be 6 minus 3 so 6 minus 3 is 3 so we can say that the radius is 6.37 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilometers. So now once we have converted this radius into kilometers, we can find the circumference. So in part A, the circumference of the, of the sphere is 2 pi r. We will write that this is 2 pi r. And now we can write that 2 pi and the radius is 6. 37 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilometers so now we we can write that uh, this is 2 pi this is 2 pi into 6.37 so we will only multiply uh, this 2 pi with 6.37 and we, are, we we have this 10 raised to the power 3 so when we multiply 2 pi with 6.37 we get uh, the circumference equals to 40.0 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilometers or we can say that this is uh, this is 40.0 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilometers and we have three significant figures this is 1 2 and 3 and if you if if i multiply and divide this 40 uh, by 10 if I write that the circumference is the circumference is 40.0 divided by 10 multiplied by 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilometer. So 40 divided by 10 will give us 4.00.
So we can write that this will become 4.00 and 10 raised to the power, this is 10 raised to the power 1. So 10 raised to the power 3 into 10 raised to the power 1, this will become 10 raised to the power 4. So we can say that this is 10 raised to the power 4 kilometers. This is 10 raised to the power 4 kilometers. So our answer is up to three significant figures. This is 4.00 into 10 to the power 4 kilometers. So this is the circumference. Now in part B we are required to find the surface area. So part B is the surface area. So let's say the surface area is represented by S. So this will be 4 pi r square. So now this is 4 pi and the radius is again 6.37 into 10 to the power 3 kilometer squared so now again we can write this as uh, 4 pi into 6.37 squared into 10 raised to the power 3 squared and this will become square kilometers so now we can multiply this 4 pi this is 4 pi into 6.37 squared So this gives us 509.9. .9. So we can say that this is approximately 510. This is 510 into and this will be 10 raised to the power 3 into 2. So this is 6, right? So this is 510 into 10 raised to the power 6 square kilometers. Now if I multiply and divide this 510 by 100, right? So let's say this is 510 divided by 100 multiply by 100 so this is into 10 raised to the power 6 square kilometers so if we divide this 510 by 100 so this will be 5.10 so let me write this as 5.10 this is 5.10 and 100 we can write this 100 as 10 raised to the power 2 so this will be 10 square so now finally we can write that the uh, surface area of the earth is 5.10 into 10 raised to the power. So these the power of 10s will add up right when we multiply these two 10 raised to the power 2 and 10 raised to the power 6. So their power will add up and we will have uh, 10 raised to the power 8 square kilometers. So this is the circumference of this uh, of the earth with radius equals to 6.37 into 10 to the power 3 kilometers. And now in part C it is said that what will be the volume in cubic kilometers. Now the part C is the volume. So volume is 4 divided by 3 pi r cube. So now this is 4 divided by 3 pi and now r is again 6.37 into 10 to the power 3 kilometers to the power 3 so again the volume is we can say that this is 4 divided by 3 pi into 6.37 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 to the power 3 and kilometers to the power 3 so now let's multiply this uh, 4 divided by 3 pi multiply by 6.37 to the power 3 so this gives us uh, 1082.69 so we can say that this is approximately uh, 1083 so let me write that this is 1083 multiply by this will become this will become 10 to the power 9 3 into 3 is 9 so this is 10 to the power 9 cubic kilometer and now again since uh, we, we want to write this uh, like this answer right we want to have uh, one significant figure on the left hand side of the decimal point so for that if I multiply and divide this by 1000 right so we can write this is 1083 divided by 1000 multiply by 1000 into 10 to the power 9 cubic kilometer and we know that this 1000 is 10 raised to the power 3. So let me write that this is 10 raised to the power 3. And 1083 divided by 1000 will give us 1.083 into 
and this these powers will aid up so 9 plus 3 is 12 right so this is 10 raised to the power 12 cubic kilometer but now if we look into this volume so we have four significant figures and the radius is given up to three significant figures so we have to drop this three uh, from this answer right so this is we can write this is 1.08 into 10 to the power 3 uh, 10 to the power 12 cubic kilometer so this is the volume of the of the earth with the given radius so this is the solution of uh, this first problem from fundamental of physics by Resnick Halliday I hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems related to fundamental of physics by Resnick Halliday